How to make a homemade test cord. First you need to make an extension cord like this. You could use an outlet power strip cord to make an extension cord with an on and off switch. Cut the cord. Splice or solder a long cord to the cord on the outlet power strip. Insulate the connections. And now you have an extension cord with an on and off switch. You need to make a cord jumper with a three prongs adapter like this one. Get a three prongs adapter. Cut a piece of the two prongs. Bend them. Apply solder. Insulate with tape or silicon glue. I will show you later how to use it. How to make a continuity and voltage checker. To make this test cord you need the following. A power cord. A light bulb like this rated for 120 AC volts. Or you could get one like this. Two pieces of solid copper wire. And some electrical tape to insulate the connections. Cut one of the cord wires like this. Strip the insulation on the wires. Solder the light bulb like this. Insulate this side. Solder the two pieces of solid copper wire to the ends of the cord wires like this. Insulate the connections with electrical tape or shrinking tube. There you have it. With a cord like this, you could use it to check for continuity. And when you connect the jumper to it, you could use it to check for voltage in a component. Here are a few samples on checking for continuity. Connect the extension cord to the wall outlet. How to make a voltage provider cord. To make one just take a cord. Solder two insulated alligator clips. And solder a solid piece of copper wire to the end of the clips. This cord could be used to apply 120 volts to an electrical component. I will show you how to use this test cord safely and properly in the upcoming videos. Click on these links to visit my website and to subscribe to my channel.